Problem 7 states, what minimum speed must the roller coaster have when upside down at the top of a circular loop if it is not to leave the track? The radius of the loop is 10 meters. Let's take a look at the roller coaster. Roller coaster goes around the loop. We're asked to determine what the minimum speed at the top of this loop would be if the roller coaster is not to fall from the track. All right, try to solve that problem now before watching its solution. The roller coaster is not to fall from the track at this minimum speed. What does that mean in terms of the forces acting upon the roller coaster? At speeds larger than the minimum speed that we are looking for, the roller coaster will exert an upward force on the track and the track will exert a downward force on the roller coaster. But at this minimum speed, we can imagine that the wheels of the roller coaster barely touch the track or for a brief moment don't touch the track at all. There is no force exerted downwards by the track on the roller coaster and the only force on the roller coaster is the weight acting downwards. Let's say that that weight is equal to the mass of the roller coaster m times g where big M is the mass of the roller coaster. This force acts straight downwards on the roller coaster at that point and is directed towards the center of the circle. This force, the weight, provides the centripetal force to move the roller coaster in the circular path at that point. If we apply Newton's second law, the sum of the forces in the y direction here is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. We would have the only force in the y direction, mg, acts downwards. And I'm going to assume in this problem that the downward direction is positive. There are no other forces acting. The mg, the sum of the forces, is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And this is a centripetal acceleration, so it would be v squared divided by r. Mass appears on both sides of this equation and can be canceled out, and we can solve for v squared. v squared is equal to g multiplied by r. Let's put in some values for g and r. v squared is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by r, which is 10 meters. This gives me 98 meters squared per second squared. The speed itself would be the square root of 98, which is 9.9 .9 meters per second. And that's the answer that we're looking for not much to that problem once you determine what is meant by this statement that the roller coaster is not to fall from the track. All right, that's the answer to our problem and that is the last problem on this tape.